The Shaman's Guide to Power Animals by Lori Morrison. Um, so you get um, two parts, the world of shamans and their power animals. So, so this is a lot of like more information um, before getting into the animal kind of profiles, if you want to call it that. And part two is A to Z and an A to Z guide to power animals. So this is where um, it goes through pretty much the entire alphabet of an animals that could be your um, power animal or like totem animal. Um, it goes through that. So, um, so in the author note, um, the author writes, this book holds channeled messages from the spirits of almost 200 animals who come to our, um, to come, who come to support our earthly existence from their enlightened power animal perspective. The experience of connecting with these animal spirits uh, revealed a lot to us about the intelligence of animals and their attunement with the world around them. They are ultra sensory, um, possessing a heightened awareness and perception of the natural environment that exceeds ours. So, it's basically like with the profiles, kind of like her channelment more than like the research kind of um, thing. <laughs> so, you do have that in there. Um, it is pretty a pretty large book because you are um, they are presenting a large amount of animals in this book, along with like some sort of sketch um, illustration of that animal as well. Um, you got like different types of power animals like totem, personal, um, calling in animal powers, uh, a shamic journey the tree of life and the symbolism of the three worlds. So, um, so indigenous theories and beliefs. So you got um, a variety of um, information. So like um, the three worlds, the tree of life represents three worlds, the upper world, which is like the branches, the middle world, which is like the trunk, and the lower world, which is like the roots. Each world plays a role in the tapestry of life, death, and the in-between. One cannot exist with the, without the others. Each world wisdom can be accessed by a shaman in an altered state of consciousness. And it continues on with... Um, giving um, some information about each world. So you get, in part one, you get an introduction to a variety of topics. And 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 it is, uh, to me, an introduction to these topics. And I have a feeling you could really find other sources of books to really focus on these topics if um, you want. Um, the setup for each animal is pretty much the same. So, like, bobcat, you get a few, like, keywords um, and, like, a quote. Walk with a mind in silence and you will always find what you're looking for, bobcat. And so, this is the type of drawing sketch you're looking at. And so, you're, you do get, like, information about the animal. Like, bobcat lives in a variety of habitats, including forests, tundra, deserts, mountains, and swamps. It is a solitary animal that climbs trees and blends in well with its environment due to its light gray or brown fur and spotted or striped markings. Um, and then you get, um, I love when it's done with, like, that kind of, like, paragraph or two. You get... Uh, on a schematic level, Bobcat teaches us how to destroy the lim limitations of time and space. The ability gives us gives the shaman freedom to practice divination uh, without barriers. So, um, 
so and you get like among Native Americans and more information and then you get another name for Bobcat if um, they don't has another name um, powers of Bobcat awareness from Bobcat or whatever animal you're looking at um, you, you get energy center mineral element mystery and magic and shamans and and then shaman's intention so that's pretty much the same setup for each and every animal and like you get a list of endangered species and then a table of powers and minerals and then you get um like the powers you get is the animal and then whatever powers it is so the like references you get like part one references part two references so like animal and like whatever reference um you get recommended reading and recommended audio to me um like it is a great starting point and like for me if you want a like total collective of like the different animals really have a look into this book because like again you're you have a a to z um animals in this book and it covers a whole lot of animals in this world so you got that for you um but if shaman practices or like animal influences have some like are an importance on some level in your um, practice have a look at this book and this again to me a more jump off point kind of book but a great starting point again i'm not someone who practice shamanism somebody could have a totally different perspective they could likely say this is amazing or it's a complete work of shit but to me if i wanted um like a beginner type of book a place to jump off of like oh this could like the three worlds kind of thing yeah i have my introduction but to these topics but I could go to other books that are more in depth but yeah um, a shaman's guide to power animals happy readings 